A special election for Wisconsin's 7th Congressional District means that voters are back at the polls for the second time in about a month. That is, if they haven't yet voted absentee. Our Christian Cordero joins us live from Hudson this noon with how its polling place looks there today. Christian. Hey there, Liz. So two polling places consolidated into one here in Hudson, just how it was in April. The process itself is really similar too, right? There's a sanitizing station outside. They're enforcing social distancing both inside and out. The big difference today is the line, as you can see, or I guess as you cannot see that there's not one here today. Throughout the morning, we've seen voters just walk right up, cast their vote, simple as that in part because it's not crowded like it was around the state the first week of April. Many of those voters have moved to absentee. The city proposed uh, process rather 2600 for the primary. It expects to reach about 2200 absentee ballots for this special election. A few issues the city and state are trying to figure out before the November election is how to handle the volume of those absentee ballots and some of the confusion that comes with its first time absentee voters. Plus, when it comes to polling places, the number of voters is one issue, the number of volunteers is another. We got 10 National Guard here again today, and then um, we still have some open spots in the polling places that we're just kind of making do with city staff. Becky Egan said that her team just started talking about that big November election this week. Uh, something that they're considering is potentially moving to a bigger firehouse down the road, still consolidating those two polls into one uh, just to accommodate more space, easier for social distancing. And also, Liz, we have to think about the weather in November. Yeah, a lot to consider. Christian, thank you.